been shown in tons of animal studies and a few human studies that like mechanistically, they might also tell the molecular machinery that grows muscle for you again later to, uh, hey, get the muscle growth process. Another one is the pump. So, you know, you do a couple sets of biceps, you're like, oh my God, what's going on here, baby? Flash it at some girl. She runs away as usual. And the actual cell swelling itself might play a causal mechanistic role in generating more muscle growth. But, but we know it's probably at least, at least 80% of the muscle growth anyone will see is because of those receptors for tension. Muscle growth, as soon as you leave the gym, is a negative because the gym is catabolic. It's a, it breaks down your muscle. Actually training breaks down more muscle than it builds. However, as you go home and you start eating food, protein, carbs, fats, and you have several meals per day and you're resting, when the food's coming in, several hours after training begins, if you measure muscle growth consistently, which is real difficult to do, they don't do it super often. You have to keep people in a laboratory. You have to do radioactive tracers and measure all this weird stuff. If every couple of hours they measure, the amount of muscle growth that's going on in the biceps goes up and up and up and up. And it usually peaks about half a day to a day and a half after you lift, depending on how hard you went. 